Alright guys, James from Stores here and today we're back with another G Fuel taste test video. Today we've got a sample pack of Phase X. If you try, come in my mouth. <laughs> um, I always look off to the side because this is where my OBS is when I'm recording. I could put it in the middle but I'm not sure if I'm still looking at myself so I'm not looking direct at the camera most of the time. So I think off to the side actually looks better, I don't know why. Better angle of my face, I don't know. Um, so yeah, we're going to try this. Apparently it tastes like a Skittles flavour. Um, I was going to debate between this and Bahama Mama, probably. The next flavour to try. Still got these left in my sample pack. I have another spare as well. So Bahama Mama, Strawberry Banana, uh, Battle Juice and Battle Juice Bubblegum and Tropical Rain. But I don't think many of the other ones are really like too much. Strawberry banana is pretty nice if you like strawberry milkshakes and stuff but I'm not really a fan. Uh, Battle juice is meant to be okay, it's like a light um, pineapple from what I've heard but yeah I thought I'd go phase X then I'll probably do Bahama Mama next but yeah I'm filming this at quarter to one in the morning when everyone's asleep well, hopefully. Um, try not to be too loud trying to go with a pretty safe flavour. I don't really want to be sick. I just had a chicken curry uh, with some Ribena before. So chicken curry rice, some bread. <laughs> yeah, I'm recording on my phone again. That's why that's there. So we're going to open the sachet. Some people say that this actually contains more than a whole scoop. I don't think it actually tells you the grams anywhere packet on here but it says on my uh, tub that seven grams is one serving so I guess I could I could even use the same scoop but I don't think people like to cross cross check scoops getting really thirsty to be honest um, don't think that's actually there we go now we're in see the powder fly so there's a massive clump down there. See on my phone as well. Just pull that in. Hmm. Smells like white chocolate smell. Then again, my mum likes to make um, these muffins, which are like white chocolate and cherry. So maybe some. Apparently, this is like quite a cherry flavour. For some reason I throw the packet in the bin straight away. Okay. So I think that's firm. Tight. Lids on. Let's get the shape. And apparently this is like a frothy almost looks like someone, someone said that, you know, they may have just thrown baking soda or fucking icing sugar and the water in a mixture and called it a day. But I think it's more than that. Do some sideways. It's like PP overheating mode. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's well enough mixed. It's not even been like two minutes, but it's really well mixed. Little bits of powder settling. It's not too bad. So it smells like. Hmm. Some people say it does smell like. It does smell like a red skittle, honestly. So it smells like someone's crushed red skittle. That's really nice. Okay, let's um, give it a taste. Oh god. I got, a <laughs> I got a ton of froth at the top. And that's all I tasted then was just pure froth. I'm gonna try and mix it up a little bit. This will probably make it froth up again. That's better. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I ordered a whole tub of Shiny Splash. Now I'm thinking maybe I should have ordered a whole tub of this because this actually may be more drinkable than Shiny Splash. A little bit of a pineapple flavour for some reason. Even on Shiny Splash, the, like the other ingredients down here, it says pineapple, pineapple fruit powder. I don't know why. They seem to be putting loads of pineapple flavours out, like battle juice, this. Almost every flavour, pretty much, they've been releasing has got a little bit of pineapple in it, I think. That might be me. I, th I think G Fuel, they um, almost have you know a certain list of flavours, and then they just try different amounts, and then call it a flavour if it works. You know, pretty sure that's all they do. Um, I mean, I wish I wish I could you know mix together the powders myself and come up with flavours, but I'm sure it's very difficult. Uh, I tried looking into that yeah you know, just last night, and yeah, I don't think you can do that without potentially killing yourself, so you just have to order it in like this. This is a really nice flavour. It's almost like a little orangey, a little pineapple-y. A little bit of red starburst. Or oh, red starburst? Red... Maybe red starburst. Red smart, uh, skill. Skill, yeah. Uh, there was a YouTuber called Pre The Prentai, I think he still makes stuff, um, but he was he was like, he'd grown a huge reputation on YouTube a few years ago as a bartender, and he did like loads, God, and he did loads of different cocktails, right? And he did like, you know, really sickly cocktails, sometimes really nice tasting cocktails that you wouldn't have known about, because he was actually a bartender by trade, and um, he did like different skills, he had all the skill flavoured vodkas. That's something I really want to do one day, and I still haven't done it. And I've been over 18 for a few years, you know. So yeah, really do like this flavour, you know. I watch these taste test videos and I'll keep it 100 with you guys like I have nothing to lie about um sour blue chug rug I personally didn't like it's nice as a sip flavor but you can't chug it it's, it's too sour it's nah, it's not not very good for me but it's better than sour phase berry and then shiny splash is a little bit better than sour blue chug rug but again it's, it seems even more sour um the more you drink it so this on the other hand, this is really nice. This may be my top flavour so far. But surprisingly I only have one more sample of it. But next time I order order, order tubs, Azex may be very high up there. <clears throat> I also kind of want to try raiding gummy fish. The new sample packs actually have that hype source as well. It's kind of nice. I'd rather have that than bubble gum or strawberry banana I don't care for them really but yeah Bahama, Bahama Mama probably next and yeah I'll drink this over the next hour or two um, I've got some friends in discord call them friends you know <laughs> um, we were playing Warframe and so I might get back into Warframe I did play like I was saying like about 150 hours or something of Warframe before, but yeah, don't know. Might try try playing that. I'm trying to find some different games and stuff like that to play. I'm really bored to be honest. I'm trying to find something productive to do. I'm also considering doing some video edit stuff, but it's more just like passion project. You know, if I can get it out before my birthday, which is July 15th, then. I'll do that, but yeah, that's, that's, you know, it's just under two months, so I should easily, you know, get this edit out by then, but I want to make it good, so, anyway, there's my uh, Phase X taste test review, I don't know 
how this has been, but I'll uh, edit and render these hopefully within the next couple of days. So yeah, it's been James Foster Halsey. I'm out. Peace.